Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. So, I didn't even bother making a video on how to get maze coins for this Blossom Forest maze because, well, I released a video like two weeks ago on how to get maze coins for Colonel Pip and nothing's changed, right? It's exactly the same. As far as I know, nothing has changed. You get maze coins the same way. So, I will go over it again in this video briefly just for if anyone happens to be new to Monster Legends. But just so we're clear, if this maze ends, I like, I don't even know anything about this monster. What does he do? Nature support with blind positive effect removal. Okay, um, if this maze is exactly the same as the Colonel Pit maze, there is no way I'm going to be getting this monster because I just don't want to invest the time and resources into it. Now, I do have maze collector tickets, but even these, I don't want to use up if the maze is going to continue being like this. If the maze continues being like this, I am literally just going to miss out on every single maze monster. I just don't think it's worth the amount of time and effort for me personally. Everyone is different. Everyone, for, if you're like a hardcore collector and you just want to get it and you're willing and like you take satisfaction of logging in every four hours and then depending on what your time zone is, if you can catch that last discount or maybe you wake up in the middle of the night to get that last discount, props to you. Kudos to you. But for me personally, I'm just not in in a state right now where I want to be doing that. So um, I might miss out on this monster. So I'm curious, how many of you guys are feeling the same way? Are you going to be missing out on the monster? Are you going to be trying maybe maybe social point is going to put a, in a discount again i'm just a regular player at the end of the day i don't have any access to any inside information so i'm just assuming it's going to be the exact same maze as colonel pip which was awful right it's it was bad i don't know how many gems i invested during the breeding event just to make sure i had enough maze coins i did end up with like an extra 2000 but aside from that i used lots of maze collector tickets which a lot of players don't have access to unless they bought the golden legends pass so i'm taking a stance right now where if mazes continue to be like the Colonel Pit maze, I'm just not going to bother. Like, I literally will not even move the monster. I don't care if it stays there. So, I think for this maze, I'm... My advice on the last maze was, focus on collecting as much maze coins as you can, and let's hope that Social Point does surprise us, and gives us, like, a second maze coin dungeon, or even a third maze coin dungeon, I don't know. Give, they give us a another 20% discount in the middle, not just at the last hour, or a 30% discount somewhere. That would be nice, so... For now, I have no idea what they're going to do, if they're going to do anything. But, yeah, I just wanted to start with a rant, just so everyone knows. My stance is pretty clear. I hate this new maze format. I am not a fan of it. I miss the old maze format. I miss the one where the LTP would come out. I Like, who cares about this chest? Who cares about this diamond? Who cares about these 10 um, chests? Who cares about this? Yeah, I miss the LTP. I miss the old format. But with that said, let's talk about um, the Blossom Forest maze and how to get maze coins. So... Super simple, you click on the question mark icon, it tells you the six different ways you can get maze coins. These are the only ways you can get maze coins by doing actual in-game activity, okay? In addition to this, there's a Monster Wood. Oh, that's another thing. I have to watch so many Monster Wood videos. I hate watching Monster Wood videos. I get like four ads on my phone just to get, just to get like one full ad. If I don't view all four, it doesn't count. It's so annoying. Okay, sorry, now rant is over. So, these are the six different ways you get maze coins. And then in addition, there's Monster Wood. Oh, also, some people don't even have access to Monster Wood, right? Or there's issues and ads don't play. So that's another whole mess that can stop players from getting the maze monster. So I really wish it was just dependent on the in-game activity. So this is the in-game activity. Uh, and Sorry, I keep interrupting. Aside from this, there's Monster Wood. There's Maze Coin Dungeons. There's Breeding Events, where every time you're successful, you get 250 maze coins. Every time you fail, you get 75 maze coins. But anyways, it's pretty straightforward. You collect gold, you get 30. You collect food, you get 50. You feed your monster, you get 30. You fight in PvP and you win, you get 15. You breed and you hatch, you get 50-50 uh, for 100. If you add up all of those amounts, it is 225 maze coins. The one thing the game doesn't tell you but kind of does is that you can get the max number of maze coins every single 4 hours. That is why when you activate your collector, it is an interval of 4 hours. So if you don't have maze collectors, don't worry. Just log into the game in 4 hour intervals and do the tasks and you will get the max number of maze coins. And by the way, for those of you that do activate your, your coin collectors, the reason you don't get any additional maze coins when these are active is because these guys are already collecting for you. So you can't get double the amount of maze coins. I see that question thrown out a lot like, Armor, I'm not getting any maze coins. The game's bugged. The game's rigged. No. I always ask, do you have your collectors active? And they're like, yep, that's why. If you have your maze collectors active, you will not get additional maze coins. But with that being said, um, it's pretty straightforward. You literally just collect food. The secret to getting all in one go is to plant something expensive. So I like to do the most expensive thing, the Black Lotus Root. And then I just click the blue lizard stone and everything else. And the first time you do an action, you won't get any maze coins. And same for collecting gold. You literally collect somewhere. And then you can just wait for some time to pass. In the meantime, you can feed a monster, collect your food. 
And then when you circle back and do the tax the tasks again, that's when you'll get your maze coins. So um, I'm not gonna get the full amount, but if I was logging into the game, that's kind of the rotation I would do. I collected my food, I collected gold, I fed a monster, I would wait for the blue digit tail to be done, and the minute I collect blue digit tail, assuming it has been four hours since I logged in, I would get all 40. So in this case, I haven't gotten anything. I think I literally just did a collection. Yeah, because this is like three hours. So I've, I've been on the game. I haven't logged off since. But yeah, that's basically how you get maze coins. Again, I'm not getting anything because I literally did a collection. Um, in terms of what you breed, the simple thing you want to breed is a Thunder Eagle. The reason you want to do Thunder Eagle is because Thunder Eagle takes exactly four hours. So the, the way you get a Thunder Eagle is just two Thunder Monsters together. So here is a Thunder Eagle. If you don't have one, you can buy it in the shop for 5,000 gold. I will show you right now. But if you have Mythics or Legendaries, you can just do... Uh, uh, you can just do thunder and thunder so thunder and thunder see they're two thunder monsters start breeding It's gonna be exactly four hours. That is thunder eagle now You have to put the monster into your hatchery and then you have to sell otherwise you won't get any maze coins So that's another question that always pops up. It's like armor. I'm not getting any maze, maze coins from hatching That's because you first need to put something from the ultra breeding tree or the breeding mountain into the hatchery And then you need to get rid of the monster and then you'll get your, ma your maze coins trust me that always works all the time. So if you do all of that, oh yeah, don't forget PvP. If you do all the, oh, why is that not unlocking? If you do all of that, you will get 225 maze coins every single four hours, and you should be good to go. So once again, circling back to what I said at the beginning of the video, my advice to everyone out there, because I'm gonna assume the maze is the exact same format as last time, but I'm hoping that Social Point changes something and makes it a lot easier. My advice to everyone is just focus on maximizing the number of maze coins you can get, okay? It's 225 every four hours. If you log in four times a day, that is 900 maze coins. I think realistically, without losing sleep, everyone likes to throw out, oh, you need to lose sleep. Realistically, without losing any sleep, still sleeping eight hours a day, I think you can do four and a half logins. Okay, I think it makes sense. Assuming you wake up at 8 a.m., we'll do 8 a.m. That's kind of late. No one, I don't, I, well, it's the weekend, right? Assuming you wake up at 7 a.m. and you do a collection, then you play the game at 11 and you do a collection, then you would play the game at 3 and you would do a collection. Then you would play the game at 7 and that you would do a collection. That is 4 logins. Okay, that is only 4 logins. And that should be 900 maze coins. If you go to sleep at 10, right before you go to sleep, if you do another full collection, maybe even like gen the breeding or do a breeding that takes less than 4 hours, you, you're likely getting 1,000 maze coins a day without losing any sleep. Okay, guys? So I think it's, it's definitely doable to get 1,000 maze coins a day. And when you think about it, if you only play the game for 4... If for four logins, total time, that's probably less than 10 minutes. So it's 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 not a lot of work, but it's also, it is, but it's also not. Because, like, how long does it really take, right? You log into the game, you do your, you, you collect your gold, you collect your food, you feed your monster, you breed, you hatch, you do a quick PvP battle. Honestly, you can be in and out in a minute. So it's honestly not asking for too much. But at the same time, it is kind of annoying at the same time. So I totally understand, but I just wanted to throw that out there. It's, it's honestly not a lot, but it is. Um, but yeah, if you just do that, you should be able to get a thousand maze coins a day. The the event itself lasts for seven days, so that's seven thousand coins minimum just by logging into the game. There's the monster wood, there is the maze coin dungeon, so it's definitely doable to end up the event with like ten thousand maze coins or something. Um, and then again, the breeding with the breeding event that you can get another two fifty to seventy five per breeding fail or success, just depending how lucky you are. So. Um, that's kind of the math behind all of that. So one question everyone likes to ask is, Armory, can I get the monster if I have this many coins? If How much more do I need? Just remember, 225 maze coins every four hours, and then it's ultimately up to you how active are you willing to be. Um, but yeah, that 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 is basically the information on the Blossom Forest maze. Um, I'm really, really curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, again, I haven't seen the monster. I don't even really care for the monster right now. I just care for the amount of effort the maze takes, and personally, I don't feel like doing it. I am just going to play and see what happens hopefully i end up with enough hopefully social point surprises but i really don't know but with that being said guys i'm armor gaming thank you all for watching and remember to subscribe